my name is Nancy. I'm from Tales of the Ravenous Reader, and I'm so happy to be here today because I'm here with the ladies from the Penguin Teen On Tour Summer Tour 2017. Yay! <laughs> so, as you um, can see, I'm going to introduce the little small introduction here. I have Danielle Vega, and she's here with the Merciless um, Number Three. One of the scariest books I've ever read in my Aww. life that I actually had to put in the, <laughs> not in the freezer, but hide them behind my other books and have my other books protect it so I can sleep at night. And then I have here Romina Russell and her Zodiac series novels right here. Lovely series set in space. Yes. And then I have Morgan Rhodes here and her Fallen Kingdom series. And then I have Aditi Purana. You got it right. You totally got it right. Yes! And her library of fates. Beautiful book. So I want everybody to be so happy as I am happy. And I would like everybody to sort of introduce their books, but in five words. If you could talk about your words. Five words. Judy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, feminist take on ruthless dictator. Topical. Nice. Um, Game of Thrones for teens. Go. Nice. <laughs> Road trip through space with boys. That's six hours. <laughs> Road Close. trip. Oh, that's another one. Oh, oh, that's one more. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Apologies. Yeah. Apologies. Um, mean Girls meets The Exorcist. Nutella and caramel corn snack from the first Merciless. They mix caramel corn with Nutella and eat it with a spoon. And they have that with um, really yeah. cheap wine that they get older people to buy for them. Um, but I don't want to share it with the girls in my books. They're terrible people. I just eat it by myself. <laughs> yeah, I think I would have a sleepover with Nishi, who is Rose's best friend, because she's awesome and she's fun, she's unpredictable, she's exciting. Um, and we'd probably, she's from House Sagittarius, so we'd probably snack on the little frosted cakes from Sagittarius that, that they have in Wandering Star. Oh, right, you're not going to come. Um, I would probably have a sleepover, like, with Princess Cleo, um, Chris Hatcher from um, Spirits and Thieves, and maybe Nick. Nick Cassian, and we would get some really good Calcine wine and just go to town on that action. <laughs> talk about boys. <laughs> Obviously, it's a sleepover. Um, I feel like Thala is an oracle, so she's kind of like a human Ouija board, which is something that is like necessary in every like mm -hmm. sleepover slumber party. So Thala would be the person I would invite, and we would probably like eat Greek food because that's where she's from. Right. Having your fortune told and read food, I mean, it doesn't get better. Hey, okay. it sure doesn't. So, if you could go back in time and talk to your teen self, what would you like to tell them? I'm trying to tell you something. Oh, jeez. I'm first. Um, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> it's going to happen, but it might take longer than you think it's going to take. Just be calm. I was a very anxious teen. I wanted everything to happen right away. I was convinced I was going to be a prodigy. I am not a prodigy. I, it took a little while. So. I would say that to myself as well. And to that, I would add, uh, as a Virgo, I'm like a crazy perfectionist mm -hmm. like, and very OCD about my perfectionism. So I would just go back and tell myself, stop. Like, there is no such thing as perfection. You have to let go of that fallacy mm -hmm. and just enjoy yourself and stay in the present. Right. I would tell my teen self, stop being so mean to yourself, you're doing the best you can, and also stop fixating on him, he's actually gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good one. That's okay. No, oh no. I don't want, that's, that's okay. <laughs> I would tell my teen self, 
I mean, you can only do your part and you're not, you know, responsible for the rest of the world. And I think I tell my adult self that mm -hmm. at times too. So it's probably like an ongoing oh, same. life lesson. Yeah. Same. You know, I'm constantly having to tell my adult self, like, calm down. Right? It will happen. Yeah. Just writers, not right now. Writers yeah. are clearly a I want everything people. right now. Like, yeah. we're just, you know, yeah. it attracts a certain personality type. Yeah. Perfectionist? <laughs> yeah. A little bit. <laughs> All right. So, one last question. How has this tour been? It seems like you ladies have known each other for years. So just, <laughs> well, there's just it feels such that a way. camaraderie yeah. that, you know. We've been spending a lot of time together. Yes. <laughs> yeah. A lot of, a lot of late late dinners okay. where yeah. we talk about our whole lives and whole hands. But I think it's not always like this. I mean, I think you're really lucky when you have that kind of like yeah. synergy and chemistry and like yeah. similar sort of like, it's, it's been, I mean, these are, we're all very different, but I think yeah. we've mm -hmm. had just a really, we have good chemistry and we've had a really, really fun time on this tour yeah. so far. Yeah. Right. It's I always great. feel like the writers are already kindred spirits to each other because we all go through the same thing and especially <laughs> the fact that we're all YA writers. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, I think they probably choose authors to go on tour together that they feel are going to be a good mix to yes. start with. Yeah, so or at least that they think do well. And like, I agree, because we're all the same imprint, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I think they knew us, and, and it's been great. It's been like part support group. Like, For sure. Yeah. 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 It's been so much fun, and all your readers really appreciate it. Aww. I've seen how you've interacted with them, and they come over and they give you gifts, and they just gush, and I just love to see their Aaron's reaction with of fans with them, you. Perhaps. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> so it's the best. So it, for me, it's the same. So thank you very much for spending thank these you. minutes, these few minutes with us. I really appreciate it, and bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.